Welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's Virtual Class. Today we are going to learn the uses of digital roots to verify our answers quickly. In the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now we are going to verify our answers for addition operation using digital roots. Let's try an example. 736 plus 245. 6 plus 5 is 11, 1 carry 1, 1 plus 3 4, 4 plus 4 8, 7 plus 2 9. Next, find the digital root for this number. So, 7 plus 3 plus 6. Cross out 3 and 6 because they add up to 9. Next, add the remaining digits. So 7. So the, so the digital root of 736 is 7. To find the digital root of 245, 2 plus 4 plus 5. Since 4 and 5 add up to 9, we cross them out. The remaining digit is 2. So the answer is, so the digital root for 245 is 2. Next add this 7 and this 2. So 7 plus 2 is 9. And the digital root for 9, the answer 981 is also 9. So the answer is correct. Now we are going to verify our answer for subtraction operation using digital roots. So we carry 1 from from the next digit 5 so 4 and now this will be 14 14 minus 6 is 8 and so we carry 1 again which makes us 8 and next we add 1 1 plus 14 minus 7 is 7 and 8 minus 4 is 4 next we find the digital root for 954 so 9 plus 5 plus 4. We cross out 9 and 5 and 4. We cross out 9 because the number uh, is 9 and we cross out 5 and 4 because 5 and 4 adds up to 9. When all the digits add up to 9 or is 9, the digital root is always 9. So for 476, 4 plus 7 plus 6. So 4 plus 7 is 11 and 11 plus 6 is 17. 1 plus 7 is 8. So the digital root for 476 is 8. Now we subtract 9 and 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. Next, we find the digital root for the answer 478. So, 4 plus 7 plus 8. 4 plus 7 is 11 and 11 plus 8 is 19 and 1 plus 9 is 10. Since 10 has 2 digits, we add the digits 1 and 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So, the digital root of the answer that for the answer 478 is 1 and the answer for over here is also 1 so the answer is correct let's try another example 746 minus 638 so we borrow 1 from the next digit 4 so 3 and 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. 3 minus 3 is 0. 7 minus 6 is 1. So, next we find the digital root of 746. So, 7 plus 4 plus 6. 7 plus 4 is 11 and 11 plus 6 is 17 and 1 plus 7 is 8. So the digital root of 746 is 8. For the di so for the digital root of 638, 6 plus 3 plus 8. 
since since six and three add up to nine, we cross them out, and we add the remaining digits. So eight. So the digital root of six hundred and thirty-eight is eight. Next, we subtract eight minus eight. Eight minus eight is zero. If the number is either zero or in negative, we find the nine's complement of that number, or we add nine to it. So zero plus nine is nine. Next, we find the digital root of the answer one hundred eight. So one plus zero plus eight. So we cross out one and eight because they both add up to nine. If all the numbers add up to nine, the digital root is always nine. Since these two are the same, the answer is correct. Let's try another example. Eight hundred fifty-six minus seven hundred thirty-four. So six minus four is two. Five minus three is two. Eight minus seven is one. Next, find the digital root of eight hundred and fifty-six. So eight plus five plus six. So eight plus five is thirteen, and thirteen plus six is nineteen, and one plus nine is ten, and one plus zero is one. So the digital root of eight hundred and fifty-six is one. So for the digital root of seven hundred and thirty-four is seven plus three plus four. Seven plus three is ten, and ten plus four is fourteen, and one plus four is five. So we subtract one minus five. So one minus five is negative four. Since Negative four is negative. We find the nine's complement of negative four. So negative four plus nine is five. Next, we find the digital root of the answer one hundred twenty-two. So one. Plus two, plus two. So one plus two is three, and three plus two is five. Since there are, of there is a five over here and a five over here, the answer is correct. Now we are going to verify our answer for multiplication using digital roots. So three times four is twelve. Two carry one, and one times four is four, and one times three is three, and three plus four is seven, and seven plus one is eight, and one times one is one. Next, find the digital root of thirteen. So one plus three. Is four, so the digital root of thirteen is four, and for the digital root of fourteen, one plus four is five. So the digital root of fourteen is five. Next, multiply four times five. So four times five is twenty. Since there are two digits in twenty, we add the digits two and zero. Two plus zero. Is two. Next, we add the digits of the digit of the answer one eighty two to find the digital root. So one plus eight plus two. Since one and eight make nine, we cross them out and we add the remaining digits, which is two. So the digital root of one hundred eighty-two is two. So 
the answers are same. So, 2 and 2. So, the answer is correct. Now, we are going to verify our answer for division using digital roots. Let's try an example. 256 divided by 9. First, write down the first digit 2 down as it is. Next, write this 2 under the next digit 5. And add the 5 plus 2 is 7. Next, put a slash to separate the quotient and reminder. Next, write the 7 below the next digit 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. Since the reminder 13 is greater than the divisor 9, we find how many 9's can fit in 13. 1 9 can fit in 13. So we add 1 to the quotient. So 28. And next we find how many how, how 9 plus what equals 13. 9 plus 4 equals 13. So the quotient is 28 and the reminder is 4. To check our answer, we find the digital root of the quotient and multiply it with the digital root of the divisor and then add it with the digital root of the reminder and it should equal the digital root of the dividend. So, the digital root of the quotient 28. So, 2 plus 8 is 10. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So 1 times the digital root of the divisor 9. The digital root of 9 is 9. Because 9 is a single digit number. Same with the reminder. So 1 times 9 plus 4. So the digital root of the dividend 256. So 2 plus 5 plus 6 2 so 1 times 9 is 9 and 9 plus 4 is 13 and 2 plus 5 is 7 and 7 plus 6 is also 13 and 13 next we add the digits 1 and 3 1 plus 3 is 4 and 1 plus 3 is also 4 so since both answers are full, the, the answer is correct. Now we are going to verify our answer for square root using digital roots. The square root of 121 is 11. It's nothing but 11 times 11 which equals 121. Find the square, the I mean the digital root of 11, which is 2. And then, and find the digital root of another 11, which is also 2. Next, find the digital root of 121. So 1 plus 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 1 is also 4. So, the, so they are the same. So, the answer is right. Now, we are going to verify our answer for cube root using digital roots. The cube root of 1728 is 12. It's nothing but 12 times 12 times 12, which equals 1728. Find the digital root of 12. 1 plus 2, 3, and another 3, another 3. And next, find the digital root of 1728. So, 1 plus 7 plus 2 plus 8. 3 times 3 is 
9 and 9 times 3 is 27 and 2 plus 7 is 9 and 1 plus 7 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 and 10 plus 8 is 18 and 1 plus 8 is 9 since both the numbers are same the answer is correct you can check my other videos about how to find a cube root and a square root easily let's use the digital root method to find the remainder for the divisor 9 let's try an example 105 divided by 9 first write down the first digit 1 down as it is into the answer line next write this 1 below the next digit 0 0 plus 1 is 1 next put a slash to separate the crochet and reminder next write this 1 below the next digit 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so the quotient is 11 and the reminder is 6. Another easy method to find the reminder of the number, we have to find the digital root of the dividend. So 1 plus 0 plus 5 is 6. So the reminder is 6. It's equivalent to the digital root of 105. So our answer is correct. Thanks for watching.